Hey everybody, my name is Josh Matikor. I teach a hands-on cybersecurity course on the internet. There's about 1,700 students, like slightly more. We do a lot of hands-on activities like practice incident response. We set up a miniature SOC and a SIM and do log aggregation. We deal with live attack traffic on the internet and it's just very useful and interesting. And in this video, in addition to answering these two users' questions, I'm going to be super transparent and talk about some of the stats behind the course such as how many people are currently enrolled, which I kind of told you already, uh, how many people have actually finished the course, how many people are currently doing the internship component of the course, um, how many people, at least that I know of, have found jobs after going through the course. So in addition to this information, like I said, I'm gonna be answering these two questions that people ask. Basically, the first question is asking, um, what are the prerequisites to joining the course? Like, what do you need to do? Do you need like Security Plus or something? And the second question I'm gonna answer, um, I know this may be a dumb question, but is this course legit or is it a money grab? I'm really interested and I wanna make sure it's legit before spending the money. So, I'll, you know, obviously I don't think it's a scam, but I'm gonna address these two viewers questions as well as going over all like those information and being super transparent about like the efficacy and success and like the student experience i guess in the course so definitely watch to the end put on 2x if you have to but i think it's going to be really useful to you so if you're just interested in hearing about the transparency behind the course like the numbers of students and internship and like how many people get jobs just skip to this timestamp otherwise i'm just going to answer these two questions so First one I'm gonna answer if I think it's a money grab. Obviously it's like my course, I'm gonna say I don't think it's a money grab, but I'll talk about my uh, my ethics and my philosophy behind sales and all of that. So um, first of all, you can just Google me, right? And you can like Google and like look on Reddit and be like, is Josh Matacor like a scammer? Is like his course good? And you can kind of probably get like a, a general sense, you know, of how, how good it is or if it's a money grab or whatever. But um, in terms of my personal like philosophy and my ethics and all that, um, I, I don't feel comfortable selling, like, to be honest, like, I I don't really like salespeople because I've worked in um, government and I've been in positions where I have to, like, deal with these people and I, I don't really like salespeople and I don't like selling to my audience. I don't like being, like, buy my course. But uh, I do think it's really good and I think it's, um, I should do it, right? Cause that's kind of the meta for YouTube. Like, you provide a lot of value for your audience. You 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 build an audience and you make a product and then you sell the product to them and you like, you know, get money and you're a business person, right? That's the meta. And that's the, the, the thing I'm trying to do with YouTube, right? Um, but like I said, I'm kind of uncomfortable with selling. So what I personally do to make myself feel better is I try to, when I make, I try to make the product as good as it possibly can be. And I think about when it's done, I think about like, okay, like what is, what is this worth? Like, what would I pay for it? Right. Based on what I know. And I try to sell it for one fourth of what that is. So the likelihood of somebody like taking my product and being unsatisfied with it is super low. Um, if I, you know, structure my, the pricing and everything that way. So basically, um, the course, the cybersecurity course, like the, the retail price for it is 497 or five, you know, $500 essentially. So I feel like I could sell it or I should sell, could sell it for $2,000. But you know, if I sell it for $2,000, it becomes like inaccessible and you know, it's just whatever. So it costs 497. I, I feel the value, like I would pay $2,000 for it, knowing what's inside of it. If I was trying to get a job in cybersecurity, right? So I don't think it's a money grab. Um, you can, you know, Google for yourself and check it out, but those are kind of my ethics and how I feel, um, you know, about what the course is worth and like what I'm selling it for. So the second question asking about, um, like what should you kind of have before going into the course? Um, this is not like a college where I'm going to look at your transcript and be like, okay, you need like security plus before I'll allow you to buy it. Like anyone can just buy it. Right. But, um, who I made the course for, who I had in mind for it. I know in our industry, we have a big problem, like a catch 22 problem where you need experience to get experience. And people are like, I have security plus, like I can't find a job. Right. That's, that's the type of person who I made this course for. So coming into it, if you have like any certification, you, you don't have to, but if you have like A plus or network plus or security plus, it's gonna be good. Or Google cybersecurity program, seven day free trial, put a link in the description. But if you have, um, basically I made this course for somebody who has some kind of idea about security, but they, they need to bridge that gap from, 
you know, just having Security Plus or just having a Google Cybersecurity certificate into being able to land a job. So ideally, my ideal like customer or student has some kind of security background. And then I build a lot of intuition on top of that through the hands-on lab component because we do like a, a decent amount of stuff. Watch this video where I, I talk about like everything that I do that you're going to be doing in the, in the course. So basically there's like three sections. There's like a cybersecurity theory section where we go over all those like um, NIST like frameworks and regulatory compliance like PCI, DSS, um, HIPAA, GDPR. We talk about uh, NIST 853, which is security and privacy controls, risk management framework, which is NIST 837. We talk about uh, NIST 861, which is um, computer incident response, cover NIST cybersecurity framework. We cover all those like kind of theory heavy stuff that all those like jargon you see in those job descriptions, right? And then the whole practical component of the course, we, we build like a miniature sock in the cloud. We have virtual machines, we expose them to the internet intentionally, they get attacked inevitably. Everyone's stuff gets attacked when you expose it on the internet. We aggregate those attack logs into a centralized place. We set up a SIM, we query, um, we query like the, the, the logs to find and look at and, and inspect, I cannot talk, and inspect the attack traffic we create alerts, we respond to the alerts, they're actual real alerts because stuff is being attacked from the internet. And it just gives you a lot of stuff to talk about in the internet. And you have a, you develop a really good intuition for um, incident response and general security operations because you're actually like doing the stuff, right? Because it's live on the internet. It's your Azure subscription and it's being attacked from bots and people on the internet. It's like real. Like the only difference between uh, what you're doing in the course in what you'd be doing at work is probably at work you have some kind of um, intellectual like information assets that you're protecting. Like there, there's a risk of a breach, right? You, if you get breached at work, you lose like million dollars or whatever. But if you get breached in a lab, like you nuke your VM and like start over and it doesn't matter. So it's real, but there's just not a lot of skin in the game, right? If you're working at like Goldman Sachs or something like this, right? Um, and then there's like the whole um, job hunt component like the theory section hands-on section job hunt section where we we build a really in-depth portfolio based on the lab that we did and we reconstruct your resume and we also like teach you how to go about preparing for interviews like how to actually prepare for the interview and like all that stuff you have to think about to make yourself a highly employable person so of course you can like go into this without you know, kind of having anything and just heavily rely on Google and ChatGPT and the theory section of the course. But the person I had in mind when I created the course was somebody who's struggling to get a job who has like Google cybersecurity certificate or CompTIA Security Plus, and they need that extra something to help them get a job. And there's also the um, internship component as well. I'm not going to talk about like what you do in it in this video because it's going to get long. I have like a dedicated video where I, I'm completely transparent about the internship and like what you do in it and like what you get out of it. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. And yeah, to, again, to recap, you don't, you don't need anything, but you should, I, I wish people would have like, you know, at least Google cybersecurity coming into the course. It's going to help you out quite a bit, I think. So finally getting into the transparency section where I talk about the numbers and everything, um, at least at the time of me, oh, how many people are enrolled in the course is the first question. So at the time that I took the screenshot, there are 1,759. Right now there's there's probably over 1,800 because I took this like a couple weeks ago. I'll, I'll look, right, as when I send this to the editor, I'll look at like the actual final number. It's probably about 1,800. Um, second question, how many people have actually finished the course? And this is something that might surprise you. It surprised me because you would think like someone is going to just buy the course and methodically go through it and then do job hunting at the end and like try to get a job, right? But apparently <laughs> that's not what people do. Um, if you look at this graph, um, the bottom axis is percentage of the course completed. And then the top or the, I guess the, the Y axis is how many students have, you know, completed that percentage of the course. So basically if you look here, like only 66 students have completed like 100% of the course, at least 190 students have completed at least 90% of the course. At least 304 students have completed at least 80% of the course and so on. So 
Um, that's kind of how you read this. Um, for 50% of the course, at least 759 students have completed 50% of the course. And that's really strange, like out of the 1,800 people who have bought the course. And there's some crazy number, like 200 or something, who haven't even like who haven't even started it. They just like bought it. And people will be like, yeah, I bought your course, Josh. I'm going to like work on it. I'm going to start working on it two, two months later or something like that. I'm like, dang. Um, so apparently that's... I don't know, that's what people do when they buy courses. And I, I think it makes sense because I've bought a lot of courses in my life um, for a lot of different technical stuff. And I don't finish, probably most of them, I don't finish, to be honest. So I guess that kind of makes sense. The next question is, how many people are doing the internship component? Uh, there's currently 185, at least 185 people have initiated that, um, which is about 10% of the people enrolled. The next question is, how many people have found jobs? This is quite hard to answer because I don't know, like probably most of them I don't know because they just don't tell me. But what I do know um, from looking in Discord, there's like a few ways that I would know, right? Looking in Discord, when somebody announces it, um, somebody just like tells me directly. And if an employer reaches out to me for um, like a reference check, usually at that point, people are getting hired, like usually before they hire, they'll start doing like reference checks. So all those people, all those combined, it's it's 52 people. Um, again, I don't, there's no doubt there's more than this because there's like 1800 people in the course and I don't talk to everyone. They just like, don't tell me. But for, that I know of for sure is 52, 52 people. And this, this might seem like kind of, kind of low considering there's 1800 people in the course. But considering that there's only like 700 students who have completed only half of the course, I don't feel like it's like that low, to be honest. So it's pretty good. And I haven't, for the cyber course, I haven't had anyone be like, I, I haven't had a single person be like, your course is bad, like I can't find a job. I haven't heard anyone say that, like, I can't find a job after like going through your course. Um, either they just like, a, a huge chunk of the people um, who they have gone through the course and they're still like studying or they're still like in school or something like this and they're not even like job hunting yet. Um, or they just like took it just to like take it and they're satisfied and they're like doing something else. Uh, again, I'm surprised by this, but not everyone who goes through the course just finishes it. Like no, uh, most people don't like finish the whole thing completely. And then the people who do, um, they aren't necessarily like job hunting immediately. They're like doing something else, right? It's like very kind of surprising to me, but that's that's a re the reality um, when it comes to courses. So as of right now that I know of for sure, 52 people have gotten jobs, but you know, I don't, I don't know how many people have beyond that to just haven't told me, like, I don't know. This is generally the reality when it comes to courses because um, it's kind of like a funnel, right? It's kind of like a, a sales funnel, right? It's the same thing. There's like, you know, 1,800 people who buy it. And then, you know, for example, I don't know, 500 people actually finish it. And then maybe out of those 500 people, like 200 are actually looking for jobs. And out of those 200, maybe like 100 people actually execute their job hunt well and like, you know, listen to what I say and et cetera. And then, you know, beyond that the the people who kind of get hired and that's that's just the reality and a lot of time like i don't know i wish i was doing like a live and i could answer people's questions live there'll probably be like a lot of questions about this i'm super transparent so just ask me questions in the comments if you want to know anything specific but that that's kind of a good way to think about it and um a lot of people they only want to get like a certain thing out of the course. So maybe a lot of people only wanted to do the lab section. They just like only did that or only wanted to, to do the theory section or, or something like this. It's just very strange. So I just make the package and people buy it and I hope they utilize the whole package, but you know, they, they, they won't like not everybody will. And I wish I could talk to each individual person and be like, well, tell me like, what'd you do after you went through the course? But now I can do that. And I think I probably should to get some like better metrics for people. But as of right now, like I, I pretty much told you like everything I know in terms of how many people are on the course and like how many people have gone through it, et cetera. So again, just let me know if you have any questions. I'm, I'm super, super, super transparent about those things and I'm not gonna like hold anything back um, as you can probably tell by this video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Again, ask questions and we will see you in the next video.